Commander of the Iranian Army Air Defense Force Brigadier General Alariza Sabahaford stressed the high capabilities and full preparedness of Iran's air defense units to thwart any possible conspiracy by enemies and said Tehran has become an absolute power in this field in the region. Speaking on the sidelines of a ceremony held on Friday to commemorate 108 martyrs of the Army's Air Defense Force during Iraq's imposed war on Iran in the 1980s, Brig. Gen. Sabahaford said his country started eight years of imposed war with hardly any equipment, all of which was bought from abroad, and we were totally dependent. Today, the powerful air defense force of the Army has the most advanced and adequate indigenous equipment in the fields of detection, interception, conflict, and information systems in the world," he added. Underscoring that Iran's assertion of being an absolute power in air defense in the region is an undeniable fact, Sabahi Fard stated, our air defense has something to say at the world level. Of course, our enemies are cognizant of this power. The top general also affirmed that Iran's airspace is the safest in the whole world, thanks to the efforts of the country's air defense forces and its cutting-edge equipment. Iranian officials say the nation's advanced defense industries are well beyond enemies' hindrance and underline that Tehran's deterrence power has brought more security and stability for the regional states in West Asia. Iran has in recent years made major breakthroughs in its defense sector and attained self-sufficiency in producing important military equipment and systems. Iranian military officials have praised the country's major progress in stretching its air defense network and stated Iran's forces are at the highest level of readiness to defend the country against any hostile action. They stressed that the country's deterrence power has made the enemies more cautious in their moves, underscoring that all their interests and equipment are within range of Tehran's weapons. They warned Iran is capable of targeting the enemy's vital and sensitive interests all over the place in case it has ill intentions. Officials assured that areas even far from the bordering regions are monitored by Iran's air defense units to confront any possible threat. Meanwhile, the chief commander of the Iranian Army's Air Defense Force has praised the formidable defense capabilities of his unit and its ability to employ cutting-edge military weapons and equipment to effectively deter foreign forces from encroaching in the West Asia region. Brigadier General Alariza Sabahaford made the remark in a ceremony held in Qadim Al Anbiya Air Defense Academy in the capital Tehran on Tuesday, as he pointed to the significant role of research in his unit's achievements and deterrence power. In the Air Defense Force, paying heed to training, research, scientific development, and the skills of personnel are among the pivotal strategies, Sabahaford said. Qadim Al Anbiya Air Defense Academy, as the authority in the air defense of the armed forces, tries to develop the Army's defense in all areas and maintain and promote the strength and combat readiness of the force he added. The senior Iranian commander pointed to the wide and diverse use of weapons, in line with the multi-layered defense of the country's air borders, saying, the capabilities of the Army's Air Defense Force have limited foreign forces in the region. Stressing that conducting research in the Air Defense Force is a must, Sabahaford also said, scientific progress accompanied by insight and vigilance, while reducing the effect of sanctions, has placed the Air Defense in a superior position, which is a source of pride for everyone.
The senior commander praised the force's improving capabilities in operational systems and equipment, saying, The defense power and combat readiness of the defense forces are being strengthened and improved round the clock. The Air Defense Force takes decisive and serious measures against any possible threat and will not hesitate in this regard. Addressing a group of foreign military attaches in Tehran on Monday, Sabahaford said the country is ready to share its defense experience with friendly countries and state joint exercises with them, stressing that the Islamic Republic's message for the allied and friendly countries is peace and friendship. Iranian military experts and engineers have in recent years made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never subject to negotiations.